A U.S. senator is facing an avalanche of demands to resign his seat following Friday's indictment on federal corruption charges. Madeline Rivera has the latest now from Washington. Gearing up for a fight, Senator Bob Menendez is rejecting calls for him to resign and is reaffirming his innocence. When all the facts are presented, not only will I be exonerated, but I still will be the New Jersey's senior senator. Federal prosecutors are accusing Menendez of using his role in Congress to benefit three New Jersey businessmen and the Egyptian government. In exchange, they say he and his wife Nadine received hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes, which included gold bars, cash, and a luxury convertible. Menendez insists the cash is his. These were monies drawn from my personal savings account based on the income that I have lawfully derived over those 30 years. Menendez is also pointing to what he describes as his long record of holding Egypt accountable as he counters allegations that he gave Egyptian officials sensitive U.S. government information. I have remained steadfast on the side of civil society and human rights defenders in Egypt and everywhere else in the world. Six years ago, Menendez prevailed in another high-profile corruption indictment after it ended in a mistrial. Some legal experts believe that might not be the case this time around. It has just about every element very well laid out in the indictment, uh, from the money being shoved in pockets and the gold bars and the cars, uh, all of that classic, uh, in, uh, classic bribery type of, of stuff going on. Menendez, who's up for re-election next year, is already facing a challenger in New Jersey's Democratic primary. Congressman Andy Kim says he feels compelled to run in light of the indictment. In Washington, Mather Rivera, Fox 32 Chicago.